the wildy doctor just suspect drama was raging wildfires once again apparently we're hearing you know the guy that came out recently dog pack that made a video on mr beast uh, saying that he's faking videos uh, scamming his viewers fake giveaways fraud scams this and that apparently he's now coming out again and he says that he will have a part two oh, part two right now like the video if you want to see part two dislike the video if you don't want to see because let me tell you man that part two about to be bigger than avengers uh end game bruh roll it okay we got a couple updates regarding the mr beast situation first off the ex-employee who exposed mr beast dog pack has tweeted out yeah. a cryptic 48 hour timer which i assume is hinting to a second exposed video on Mr. Beast. Now, apparently, he was saying that this video has even worse allegations than the first video, Crazy, and man. obviously that could be pretty bad for Mr. Beast, considering the first one got 10 million views. Now, yeah, I'm just praying that- That's insane, man. He uploaded on a brand new channel, fresh channel, and that video blew up to 10 million views. That's crazy. Yeah, I can see it do 20 million in the in the long run, though. It's not about the charity work that Jimmy does, because that stuff has yeah. always made me like Mr. Beast, because, you know, he seemingly does help people, and I want to support that. Anyways, yeah, we'll know the yeah, answer yeah. in a couple days and of course i'll be updating you guys then as well but till then here's everything that's gone down since the last video four days ago first off the story regarding beast games has actually gone mainstream because the new york times put out an article titled willing to die for mr beast in five million the contestants in the internet stars beast oh, games expected outlandish challenges and signed contracts that acknowledge risks of serious injury and death still few were prepared for the conditions on set basically it had a lot of allegations towards mr beast saying that the conditions of filming were just horrible with contestants yeah. allegedly getting injured, uh, allegedly given medication late. Apparently, even took their underpants for some reason. What? And no, man. Come on, man. Was that Chris Tyson allegedly or something like that? Yeah, you never know. It could have been Chris Tyson, bro. Then forgot to give it back for a long time. Lots of uh, wacky allegations. Now, from the people that I individually interviewed, it was pretty mixed. You know, some people had a perfectly fine experience and some people had a horrible experience. So yeah. it's definitely split depending on where you were in the game. But uh, mm -hmm. here's a couple highlights from the article. Over a dozen people who participated in the first installment of Beast Games said that they had not received adequate food or medical care and that some competitors had suffered injuries from the physical challenges. Mr. Beast took the no pain, no gain formula quite little. Literally, he was like, okay, these people need to go no pain, no gain, guys. No pain, no gain. No pain, no one million dollars. Okay, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, but wait for it, wait for Another it. Another described watching fellow contestants vomiting and appearing to pass out. There were several hospitalizations. That's obviously not good, not something you want to see happen in a sort of innocent game show. We signed up for the show, but we didn't sign up for not being fed or watered yeah. or treated like human beings, one contestant told us. Told the times. Like many of the people who appeared in Mr. Uh, I, I mean, listen, Mr. Beast was definitely going for a hey, fasting with Mr. Beast challenge. Uh, I'm not gonna fast, but you guys gotta fast. And the last one who survives the fasting challenge wins a million dollars. Beast YouTube videos, some of the contestants said that they needed the cash to pay for things like student loans and medical debt. After learning that they would be competing against twice as many people, some said they felt they had been misled about the odds of winning. Apparently, yeah, they thought they'd be competing go. against a thousand people, but it turned out to be two thousand instead. One meal described by several contestants included a tiny portion of cold oatmeal, one hard-boiled egg, and a few pieces of raw vegetables. We're all just looking up at the sky, screaming at him like he's God, one contestant said. Guards dressed entirely in black, complete with face coverings, flank the field. I guess it was sort of to emulate that Squid Game vibe, but uh, some people might think that it's a bit dystopian, you know, like you're actually bringing it to life. Despite reassurance that contestants' medications would be distributed to them when needed, several contestants said they had not received their medication on time, including Damn. one contestant who needed insulin. That is actually really bad. Instead of receiving it hours or even days after the scheduled dosing times. Yeah, That's this could crazy. lead to some serious problems, especially things like insulin. One contestant said that she had initially been denied the food she required to take her medication and had been told by staff members that she didn't actually need to eat. After asking repeatedly, she was given half a banana. <laughs> Why half? <laughs> Why not the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bomba cut. Why half? Give her a full banana. Well, uh, you're saying that the other half was uh, ate by um, Chris Tyson or something like that? Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But like, damn. I don't know. These accusations seems very, very wild. Of course, Doc Pack made a crazy video the other day and of course like the entire community after that started looking like this okay i gotta be honest man i gotta be honest but gotta be fair in this one these are just accusations but see people are now believing them a lot more based off of that dog packs video because that dog pack video i mean it was good it was good it wasn't coming from an ex-employee video and uh he shown mr beast video and he debunked a lot of the stuff uh, and he was breaking down a lot of it and it resonated well with the, the audience and uh, everybody's seeing the the real side right so uh, and uh, and after that all of these accusations started coming out so people are already believing the other stuff so 
when this stuff's happening people are like maybe this is true too but it gotta be fair it's a big maybe okay it's a big maybe but if this is all true that's crazy and of course part two from dog pack but i hit very soon <laughs> what's going on here here's the part about the alleged uh, underpants taking contestants were instructed to supply the production staff with a ziploc bag containing five days worth of undergarments which would be distributed to contestants once the games were underway but several contestants said that they had waited hours or even days to receive their clean underwear ain't no way this guy's gonna make them wear dirty underwear bro that's <laughs> That's crazy, oh, that's crazy. No. Now we actually have some details about the challenges. Allegedly, there were three challenges. I, I know what they are because the contestants told me, but I'm not sure I'm allowed to reveal it. So I'm only gonna say oh, what's have... in the article here, right? The first challenge involved five teams of 400 people pulling ropes attached. Okay, so these acquisitions are probably probably real. Oh shit, oh shit. Damn. Cause uh, three of them revealed to you, you know about it. Oh crap, okay. I, I, I mean, listen, I'm treating this as rumors for now, right? But it's probably true it's probably true but still it's not a hundred percent concrete just yet to 10,000 pound weights as fast as possible the issues involved five contestants told me but i'm not sure i'm allowed to reveal it so i'm only gonna say what's in the article here right the first challenge involved five teams of 400 people pulling ropes attached to 10,000 pound weights as fast as possible the issues began participants said when they were broken into those teams a scramble for team pennies quickly became uh, chaotic and frightening several said describing a crush of people pushing and shoving other contestants while the production staff was unable to calm the crowd one contestant described hyperventilating amid the scene another said that she had been almost horizontal and had feared being trampled yeah, this is the what kind of videos y'all sick is making there? What? What the actual hell? What is going on at Mr. B Studios, man? Damn, this seems like a like a horror movie or something like that. Damn, I thought y'all were just filming some friendly neighborhood YouTube videos, man the issue having physical challenges when your contestants are male female and elderly as well because obviously the young and fit and, and to be honest though like yeah. Of course, in this, uh, to be fair though, especially if you're gonna have uh, contests where you're doing crap like that, of course somebody can get hurt. So I suppose the, 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 the participants, the contestants would know that before signing up for something like that. But I guess the problem is, uh, he's uh, getting random people, at, at least for this one, their acquisition that he gets uh, family members and crap like that. Yeah, it was proven in another scenario, but I believe in this scenario, these were like either random people or camera ready people what i mean by camera ready people is uh basically people from the industry where they would hire actors to perform and that's it right then they would be on nda nda stuff and they wouldn't talk about it simple as that right but maybe these people were really really random people uh, and, and see the problem with this one if the uh, the if these two people are randoms and they're actually doing a fighting contest uh, and they're they're partaking in a fighting uh, contest if somebody gets hurt, surely there's gonna be situations like that. We're gonna hear stuff like that. These people are just normal day people. These people are not like trained to fight. You, you feel what I'm saying? These people are not professionals. So stuff can actually get worse. Stuff can get worse for sure. Somebody Guys can get hurt. Guys are just going to absolutely body everyone. And there should be some rules against that. You can't just, you know, roughhouse people and, you know, win that way, right? I don't know. I feel like the challenges chosen should have been something that's like uh, more similar to the Squid Game stuff where, you know, you're cutting out a little bit of a cookie or something like that where, you know, where there's no like obvious advantage. I, I mean, Mr. Beast wanted innovation in the videos and nothing wrong with that. He wanted to make b bigger and better videos. Uh, I mean, I can get behind that, but See, the problem is that, like, yeah, do not get random people uh, and let them fight like that without any precaution, because those are just random people without any fighting skills. So they probably can get hurt. Maybe bones can be broken, too. Then, you know, <laughs> there can be lawsuits after that. Unless you made them sign NDA beforehand, which said that, hey, you can actually, you know, lose your life. Bruh. You can lose a limb. You can lose your bones. You can, you, can, <laughs> you can break your bones. I I'm pretty sure he must have done that. But of course, like, you know, if somebody's going to get hurt, they're going to talk about it. And it's not going to be a good look for Mr. Beast. To just discern groups of people, right? Now, the article ends with an ominous line. They had signed a contract that they were willing to die for this. Now, in defense of- Bomba card! See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? What? What? And I did not watch this video. I did not watch this video pre before. This is crazy. So this is like, you know, before you uh, jump from a plane with a parachute, of course, you do sign crap like that. Hey, uh, if your parachute don't open, you can die, right? So you do sign that so your family don't sue them or, you know, there are no, like, other aspects uh, or whatever. There's no, like, legal trouble after that. 
Mr. Beast knows that. So he was like, hey guys, you need to sign that first because you never know, you can die. Mr. Beast, I'm pretty sure that's like standard practice in like reality TV or game shows and stuff like that. But uh, but of course, people are not expecting to die in a, in a game like this. These contracts <laughs> yeah. are just to waive any liability if people get injured or something like that, right? Yeah, Here's yeah, some yeah. of the top comments. Yeah, yeah. When suffering and debasement are the conditions of so-called charity, what actually is taking place is exploitation. It's not philanthropy, so please don't call it that. It's internet entertainment of the worst kind. This guy is indicative of exactly what's wrong with the world right now. The fact that he has millions of followers only proves my point. You know, I've always thought that the philanthropy is a little bit separate, right? Like, if he's building homes for people in Africa, that's obviously amazing and stuff no, like that. No, here's the thing, though. I pers Of course, I remember there was controversy when he did that, but it was very small and everybody defended Mr. Beast, rightfully so. Uh, if it turns out all of this is fake, man, that would be really ridiculous. That would be really sad. Now, personally, I don't mind if he's doing this for entertainment. The reason, the reason being, at least somebody's getting helped, right? If that's if that help is like genuine for the people, for example, like if these people are genuine and these people really got a house for Mr. Beast, even if Mr. Beast did that for views and to get more money in return, I, I don't care about that. Uh, he helped people and uh, he helped people and through his videos he inspired other people to help other people in in what way or whatever way, shape, or form they can help. Maybe it's like giving five bucks to. Uh, uh, to a person that was deserving of, right? You know what I mean? Smaller, smaller things like that, or buying somebody a water bottle uh, during like a hot summer day, right? That was outside, that didn't have any means to get a water bottle. Just simple stuff like that. So of course it would inspire people, and that's good. That's good, right? Uh, and buying somebody a house. If, if this is gen if this family is genuine, I got no issues with this one. But if it turns out that all of this is fake, man, that would be absolute ludicrous, though like that. But if he needs to do something for entertainment or content, I understand that. But obviously people need to be safe, right? You can't be having these sort of mismanaged conditions there allegedly, right? Looking forward to the allegedly. episode of Mr. Beast where his victims sue him into bankruptcy. All right. So as I said, all those are allegations. I And you got to use the word allegedly a lot. And I got to say allegedly, allegedly, this video is all alleged rumors because Mr. Beast is trying to sue Dogpack, the guy that came out with evidence, right? So Mr. Beast is crazy. That's like it's crazy. You're trying to sue other people right now, man. So gotta be careful. I personally do not know what went down there because I personally wasn't there, but there seem to be a lot of reports from a lot of people that are concerning. Now, we gotta move on to the next thing. We gotta talk about Mr. Beast's latest video, the one about the nuclear bunker, and there's a lot of controversy regarding that one as well. Here we have a tweet about the dislikes on the video. Mr. Beast might be cooked, actually. 500k plus dislikes in an hour and still counting on his latest video. Jimmy and his team are also deleting all the comments mentioning the Chris Tyson situation. Is yeah. this the downfall of Mr. Beast? And he's attached a screenshot with- I wouldn't say downfall, and I've, uh, you probably heard about this I heard about this as well. I, I got a, I got a, I got a, my own take as well, which you, uh, I will give in a second. But I don't think it's a downfall because he's not losing subscribers. He might have seen a slowdown, but he's not losing subscribers or anything like that. And I talked about this in the last video. The reason, and I said this again, I don't think it's gonna be a downfall. And right now, I'm convinced it's not necessarily gonna be a downfall unless the part two video from Dog Pack actually proves that his philanthropy is a uh, fake. All of that is fake. This and that. Even then, the chances are slim because he's a golden boy of YouTube. YouTube is clearly protecting him. And I'll talk about, you know, I said that I'll give you my take in a second. Yeah, that also includes YouTube protecting him because they really are protecting him. He's uh, he's in one of the protected class. And uh, but, but see, the reason I don't think it, it, Mr. Beast is going to see a downfall currently, talking currently, okay? Maybe something else will come out, then opinions might change. But for now, I don't think it's a downfall because Mr. Beast has a worldwide audience. Yes, uh, the original dog pack video hit 10 million views, okay? More than that probably by by now and probably going to have more in a week from now, month from now, right? But, but and, and more Pegasus, the video that we're currently watching, we're watching from more Pegasus. Shout out to more Pegasus. He has been going crazy. In fact, a lot of YouTubers are making pumping out videos. Some people hitting like 10k views, 10 100,000 millions of views as well collectively it's millions of views right and in terms of unique viewers what i mean by this uh, in terms of like uh, the mass uh, in terms of unique people so individual people not counting the views because you know a video can have two views but it's seen by one person it's just the one person has seen it twice right so that's why it's two views but the unique people uh easily i, I think uh, there have been 20 million people by now that have heard about this drama and that have seen it so yeah, so this drama is really, really big, but still um, he hasn't seen any loss of subscribers. Why? Because generally speaking, those people are probably, majority at least of them, would be in North America, right? 
uh it, it's like and it's those people that are generally not watching mr beast videos because the mr beast audience is mostly kids so he's he's blown up with the kids app on youtube as well and on the normal app and, and yeah kids don't understand it and he got a worldwide audience so somebody in let's just say uh another country let's just say right like he 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 or she is probably not seeing any of that drama and at least uh and especially i should say on youtube kids app these videos are not there bro like all of this drama videos nah nah bro these videos are not there so yeah first of all kids don't uh, kids don't care and secondly kids probably have not seen this drama videos either M majority at least right and mr beast got a worldwide audience like i said so easily hit 100 to 200 million views sometimes 300 million views of videos so yeah i, I mean br <laughs> having a downfall on mr beast uh, mr beast seeing that downfall i don't think it's gonna happen unless the part two is actually real nuclear stuff so the 900k likes and 500k dislikes which seemingly looks bad and he's attached a video where you're trying to click the replies of a comment but it disappears because that comment is getting deleted in real time basically anybody being sort of uh, critical towards mr beast or anybody pointing out any of these situations any of the many dramas and mentioning dog pack they're probably sort of like banned from his comment section right yeah. now this tweet actually got community noted youtube stopped reporting dislikes in 2021 the number reported in the image is an estimate based on an extension called return youtube dislike it is calculated from dislikes submitted by extension users and can overestimate the actual number of dislikes on a video. Okay, basically people are saying that it's not that many dislikes, right? Now it turns out Drumler reached out to the Mr. Beast team to get the actual dislikes on the video. We apologize, we just deleted a tweet showing 500k dislikes on Mr. Beast's new upload. This info came up from a third party app that allows you to see the dislikes. Fellow creators reached out saying that the third party app is not to be trusted. We also- And now the third party app is like the return dislike extension that you can get on Google Chrome. Of course, YouTube has disabled the dislikes, but you can still dislike a video and the creator would see it and the return dislike would show you the public count i have used that and uh, based on what i have noticed uh, it's not accurate it's not accurate but uh it still is like a good indicator in some aspects for example like i had a video that had like so many dislikes but it was not showing any dislikes whatsoever and in another video i didn't have that many dislikes but it was showing like crazy amount of dislikes with the return so it's not accurate uh but see what the situation here but the situation here is this right mr beast is showing there are no dislikes like 99 percent like to dislike ratio which means only one percent of people are disliking the video with, with this drama has blown up right like 10 million people have seen the original dog pack video and you got people commenting on mr beast video trashing him or just saying that hey you're scamming stop scamming this and that stop deleting comments and people have caught him red-handed and he has filters in place and uh and, and he's deleting comments so and, and seeing that many people comment on his video and talking about this drama i'm sure he got in way more dislikes than one percent right I, I don't think he's getting like millions of dislikes but he's getting a lot of dislikes that's for damn sure and Mr. Beast uh, revealed this video to Drama Alert, showing no dislikes whatsoever. I think this video is genuine. This video is genuine, or it's a very well edited Photoshop fake, right? Yeah, it can happen, it can happen. But I believe that the video is real, and I believe that YouTube themselves are removing those dislikes. YouTube themselves are doing it, not Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast sees the data in his account and he's like, yeah, but what are you guys talking about? We don't have a million dislikes. And they send this to Drumaler. Drumaler is like, yeah, okay, well, crap. I mean, <laughs> he's not seeing that many dislikes. So uh, I, I believe that it's YouTube that's uh, removing the dislikes. Because with this much drama, I'm not even talking about the return dislike extension being accurate or inaccurate. With this much drama, it's certain, bro it's inevitable mathematically logically speaking okay like he's seeing a lot of dislikes right now right he's seeing i mean he's seeing comments and we're noticing the comments are getting deleted so of course he's getting dislike bombed like crazy right now i'm not saying you gotta go out there and dislike the video that's against the youtube terms of policies i'm not saying that okay do not do that do not do that but i'm just talking about this right because people are uh, doing it and <laughs> uh, and this is, uh, this is another drama in itself too so
got in contact with Mr. Beast. And here's a screenshot of allegedly the actual dislikes on the video, which is only 4,099.6%, which is definitely sus. The current yeah. dislikes directly from the Mr. Beast team. Chucky the fake PR guy responded as well. Here's a video in case anyone thinks it's fake. The Chrome extension saying it had 1 million dislikes is false. And Chucky has attached this video where he's scrolling and uh, pulls up the dislikes. And you can see 20,000 dislikes there and 99.1% Yeah, that, that gotta be fake. That gotta be fake. I think YouTube is uh, removing the dislikes uh, themselves uh, to protect him because yeah he's in the protected class he is he is there's no ifs and uh, ums and buts about it he is he's the biggest channel and i think uh, there's probably multiple reasons i think the main reason might be they don't want to see another adpocalypse uh right because because mr beast is so big it's gonna be a bad look on youtube right like bad look for youtube it shouldn't be a bad look for youtube or google but he's so big it can be you know what i mean so maybe that's why they're trying to protect him i, I guess i'm just trying to um trying to make sense of it this is probably not the real reasons but maybe one of the one of the factor ratio and he's refreshed it a couple times to prove that it's real now do i believe the mr beast team is lying about these dislikes i cannot say okay i just know that this yeah. chucky guy will do absolutely anything to get good pr for mr beast and the math does not add up the amount the of people commenting up, about yeah. this controversy and knowing about the mr beast drama the original dog pack video has 10 million views my videos combined have like i don't know 10 12 million <laughs> views as well yeah. it is one of the biggest dramas on youtube i, I would say at least minimum 20 million unique people right have heard about this and a lot of them were commenting on Mr. Beast's video and those comments are getting taken out as well. So a lot of people know about this controversy. I'm sure those people are leaving some engagements. I'm not saying you gotta do it or anything like that right but but like people are definitely doing some crap like that it is pretty much obvious that mr beast's latest video will get this like i do not support that i do not encourage that by the way but yeah, 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 it, it is likely that people will go out of the way to dislike these videos so it's very unlikely there's a 99.1 percent ratio but i also don't believe it has 1 million dislikes in reality i think the real number is somewhere in between in those middle. two numbers you can form your own conclusions there but very weird that middle. youtube is not showing an accurate uh picture of the dislikes there i remember they removed the dislike button supposedly to protect smaller creators at least that was their cited reason but it turns out it only ended up protecting larger creators and mm. larger brands whoever get in yeah because like if i get dislikes i still see it in my youtube dashboard it looks like that when mr beast uh, gets dislikes he don't see it in the dashboard that much right man this dog pack video the part two but it be a either it's gonna be a dud or it's gonna be a hiroshima nagasaki like nuclear <laughs> bomb <I mean. laughs> and if that happens that would be crazy man check out this video on the screen because this recently happened what happened with dr disrespect his drama is crazy apparently we also got the edp situation we got mr beast chris tyson situation as well that we talk about check out this video on the screen on the left we got brand new leaks for gta 6 trailer 2 we covered new leaks for gta 6 as well check out both of these videos and i will see you right there